What's happening, guys? Keith here with another edition of the Impact Report. So if you guys haven't checked out already, I have a few reviews available on the page, uh, one being this past week's episode of Impact and the other being the one night only special titled Cali Combat. So this past week's episode of Impact drew 295,000 viewers and ranked 133 on Cable's Top 150. This was slightly down from last week's 299,000, but not, not a crazy drop, still hovering around that 300,000 mark. And uh, speaking of that 300,000 mark, our uh, buddy Tyrus had a few choice words to say about Impact Wrestling. Uh, I don't remember who he spoke with, but he, uh, he talked more about his departure, and uh, he had this to say. Impact does 300,000 on a good week as far as ratings go, so obviously what you're doing is not working. So I think it's just best if I take my ball and go home, and I'll wait this out and see what happens as far as my wrestling career. But it's not a good thing for my brand to be a part of Impact when every week it's a different change or a different person. It was just too much, and I felt that I had earned the right out of the respect that my peers have for me in the ring and how do I carry myself. If it's a sinking ship, I'm not going down with it. So I just thought it was best for me to move on. So, you know... Good riddance, pretty much. I still think this all stems for him not being pushed the way he believed he should have been pushed. But like I said, it is what it is. Uh, so Kira Hogan was recently interviewed by Fightful.com. She was signed last year, but actually didn't make her debut until this year. Um, and her contract is coming to an end soon. Uh, she was asked how how come it took long, so long to debut, and she said... I'm not really sure. It was just kind of uh, going with the flow after I signed. I did get asked to do tapings, but the timing was just off. I think they were waiting for timing, and I completely understand. It's about giving the best first impression. I think the timing of me starting was right, and Sue Young was right behind me. She says, I'm fully contracted to Impact. I'm set in stone. I signed in June of last year, and I signed for a year, so my clock is ticking. I do really want to re-sign. I love it there. I love the production. I love everyone in the back. I think it's going to get bigger from here. I think the little hiccup they had is coming to an end, and we're going to have big things this year. I'm really excited to be part of this company. I'm going to be there for June 1st and 2nd in Windsor, and I think I'm going to be there in July, but I don't know yet. So I think this is just a thing that's going to play out, you know. Uh, they'll re-sign her. I don't see why they wouldn't. I mean, she's... Been a good addition to the Impact Knockouts division. So, like I said, it just makes sense to re-sign her. Um, and we have an update on the status of Rosemary. So, on March 4th um, edition of the Wrestling Perspective podcast with James Ellsworth and Petey Williams, uh, it was revealed that Rosemary has a torn ACL. She worked through the injury to face Sue Young in last week's Impact Wrestling. It's currently unknown how long her recovery will be, but she has been written off TV. So, I mean, this if she does miss Slammiversary, this will be the third pay-per-view that she missed, um, missing Bound for Glory due to the issues with Taya and her being injured for Redemption and uh, through Slammiversary. So if I have any more news on that, I will let you guys know. Um, and so this one was interesting. So much to the surprise of fans everywhere, footage from Impact Wrestling has started appearing on the WWE Network. Uh, this week's episode of Table for Three, which featured Kurt Angle, AJ Styles, and Shane McMahon, even featured footage from one of Styles and Angle's matches and was adorned with the Global Wrestling Network app logo. Uh, apparently, the app being advertised in the WWE Network has paid off because it's gone from being number 669 on the iOS to 101 in a matter of hours, a sign that fans are curious to check out these old matches. Um, Impact had issued a statement on their agreement, and they said Impact Wrestling collaborated with WWE on the project and sub-licensed the footage to them for their use in their original productions. Accordingly, WWE issued a courtesy for GWN when the footage airs. So it's as simple as that, but it looks like relations between the two have improved. This is just another positive for Impact Wrestling. I mean, WWE is going to need... Impact's help here, as a lot of their talent is former Impact talent, so just, you know, Impact working with other promotions to help better themselves, and it's just smart business. So, 
Last but not least, Matt Seidel was on this past week's Impact Wrestling media call. Uh, he talks about wanting to defend his X Division Championship against Lucha Underground stars. Uh, he talks about wrestling Ray Phoenix and the amount of chemistry the two had. I believe this was uh, at PWG. The two wrestled. Um, he was asked about his new style since we've seen him win his last two matches, uh, one against P.D. Williams and the other against Taiji Ishimori with a move he calls the chemical imbalance. Uh, he said he doesn't want to be too predictable. Uh, he said the new style is working because he has the X Division title on his shoulder. Uh, he talks about tagging with Ricochet and his love for tag matches, as he thinks some of his best matches have been tag matches. And he says that himself and Moose would be a great tag team. Uh, at this point, Sammy Callahan had interrupted the call. Uh, he called in and then uh, kind of took control of it for a bit. Um, he talked about everything that was happened this past week on Impact, about the footage with Don Callis and things like that. Um, but he said uh, he was told that his fate in the company was going to be decided on that episode of Impact. And uh, he said he doesn't give a damn, and Impact should do what's best for their business model because they know Sammy drives ratings. At this point, he refused to leave the call, and he complains about not being in the opening video package for Impact, and then uh, he eventually plugs Pro Wrestling Revolver and just hangs up. So back to Matt Seidel. Um, he, he comments on Sammy Callahan calling up, and he says that he thinks it's great of Sammy to open his third eye and question Impact Wrestling Authority, and then uh, I think he talked about people thinking he has a bad attitude. Um but he goes on to say that Impact Wrestling is the ideal place for him to wrestle. Uh, he likes the idea of having protégés in the wrestling business and compares that to the uh, young boy system that New Japan uses. And he goes on to praise Zachary Wentz's work, and he says that he would be interesting in interested in mentoring him. Uh, he talks about his last match ever, as someone asked him what it would be, and he said it would be with death, and he'd like to wrestle God. So he uh, wraps up the call by uh, promoting the uh, four-way X Division number one contendership match that happened this past week on Impact, um, which we saw El Hijo de Fantasma win the match. And uh, in two weeks, he will be defending the X Division title against Fantasma. But before we get to that, next week's main event was announced, and that is Matt Seidel and Austin Aries taking on Pentagon Jr. and Fantasma. So the next couple weeks are pretty big for Matt Seidel. Um, actually, I, I said that was going to be the last segment, but I did want to add one more thing. Um, I want to add a segment called Plug That Pod, and I want you guys to leave your podcast in the comments section below, or you can private message me on Twitter at Keith and Matt. Um, I just want to, you know, give a shout out to other people doing Impact Wrestling Podcasts and include it on the Impact Report. So that is all I have for you guys this week. Um... Like I said earlier on, be sure to check out the two reviews I have up on the page, being last week's Impact and the Impact Wrestling One Night Only Cali Combat Show. And until next time, thanks for checking out my video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.